Hi, it's Jess here from Nigers.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. So I'm going to bring you um, my pre-order. I um, It arrived on Thursday, uh, about an hour before I was catching a train uh, to go away. So I literally opened it, checked that everything was there and then had to leave it until today, which is now Tuesday. So, so I thought... Um, I'll, I'll I'll show it you. So um, paper perhaps haven't been opened. Nothing really has been been opened. So let's go through and see what I've got. I've got more than I remembered that I ordered. So I've got artfully layered. It reminded me of tropical chic. There is a die set that goes with it. So let me find them tropical layer dies. So. Um, yeah, I liked the scripty bit. It's a cling stamp. I liked the scripty bit. Um, I liked Tropical Chic. So that made me get this. So it got a similar leaf there. I do like foliage. Those I thought could be hearts and I don't have anything with hearts in. So I thought that might be useful. Quite nice. Thank you. Happiest birthday wishes. That's nice sending all the hugs and hey there um i don't like fonts that i can't read readily and i feel this is a font i can't read read readily but i think it's all right i love this that will be used a lot and then i can't even remember what the dies are like so let's have a little look see oh they're nice oh yes a lovely, lovely border like that, stitched with like um, a, a zigzaggy edge, like a pink and sheer edge. Liked that. I like that we've got a bit of foliage here that is not, um, that is extra to the stamping. We've got these little leaves here, which again, I thought a little bit like love hearts. We've got some... I presume they will emboss on things. So I quite like that for my journaling. And then we can cut out these two images as well. So, yeah, I think that will make nice little projects. So I'm going to look back on some of the ones I did with Tropical Chic. Give myself a little bit of um, inspiration there. Now, I think I've got the that goes with this can't remember to be honest let me just have a little flick through my paper did I uh, did I did I not no I didn't um, so um, actually might have done I think so I do paper and ribbon shares with Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting I think she got the paper so, yeah, what's nice is that I've done all my, um, I've got nowhere to put them. Um, I've done all my sort of Christmas crafting. So um, I'm all for, um, I can play with these straight away. Right, this is Sentimental Swirls. So this is the Million Sales um, stamp set that Sam Hammond Donald um, got to design she is poodles and she is my upline so um so yeah lot look how many stamps are in that oodles and loads so love love the squirrel love stamp sets that you can build i like the simple font i just said didn't i don't like fonts you can't read well this is like primary school teacher writing isn't it um so easy easy to read i love it um Comet Sans, I do like a bit of Comet. From a teacher's point of view, Comet Sans was the font that we tended to use because it's dyslexia friendly. Um, so yeah, that's why I like this, this sort of font. So very nice. This will cut out with the um, one of our one of our punches. Um, I'm, I'm looking on my shelf behind me for me punch excuse me leaning over so yeah this punch so we can cut this out 
with this flower here and those leaves will cut out with this one and you can cut this one out I believe I think it's with the strawberry builder I think so yeah liking that can't wait can't wait to have a go with that one what else have we got Bows and Blossoms. Surprised myself with getting this one. Um, it's a cling stamp. Um, but I saw lots of potential. It reminded me of things. Again, a nice, easy to read um, font. It's been too long. Now, that is something that we can say to lots and lots of um, people, um, friends. Uh, it's certainly been too long um, for, you know, since we've seen lots of them. This is a stamp set or with a punch. I love a stamp set with a punch and the punch doesn't match any of the, any of the stamps, but it's a double leaf punch, which is just fabulous. I love to add little bits of foliage to things and with my journaling, um, junk journals as well that is going to be fabulous to have two leaves two leaf punches oh that's a quite a complicated little uh, little uh, features going on there so yeah very happy with that and uh, yeah that reminds me of a die set hand pen flowers i think that does give me a reminder of so yeah i'm happy with that one always happy to have a punch i think that's the only punch i in fact bought uh what else have i got wild flower path now i love this because beautiful beautiful font there with your happy birthday and your thank you um, I really quite liked that saying there. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. I thought, brilliant, on a sort of a journaling card or something in a journal like that. My heart is smiling because of you. Quite sweet in a pass me the bucket sort of way. Um, so, yeah, slightly bigger, as you will see from the pictures on the front which i'm quite pleased about because i almost needed my glasses there and um yeah i'm just imagining what i can create with these stamps i'm loving it and i'm loving the fact that i can stamp the stem in green and then flowers in different colors i just think that's marvelous so um yeah can't wait to have a go at that they will also make beautiful little backgrounds uh, papers for journals so and tags tags love to make tags so happy about that what else have i got no that celebration i'm not showing um so yeah my last bundle that i've got is this one so your biggest fan and sports events die now i'm not I didn't, it wasn't, it wasn't these things that I, I didn't mind that, that I went for. It was the ticket shape. Um, being a journal maker, um, we do love a bit of a ticket. So I did think that this stamp here, that I could create all sorts of lovely stickers and frames um, for, for my journals with it. I did like the, the lines and those dots as well, and, and the stars, I thought they would be cool. And actually, Happy Father's Day is useful. Happy Birthday is quite nice there. Um, you're amazing, and hooray, are very good. Not sure about, hope your day is a grand slam. I do have a niece who's a big um, tennis fan. The most valuable dad. I think that's a bit odd, because... It kind of suggests that you might have more than one dad. And some people do. One of them's more valuable than the other. Would you really tell them? I don't think so. I don't know. So, yeah. It was like, what was it? There's another stamp we've got um, that says one of the greatest dads or something like that. And it's like, no. 
I just thought that was a bit peculiar. Don't know. Mind you, some people have more than one dad, but I don't know that you'd set one up against the other. Anyway, so the dies. I'm so excited about the dies because I nearly bought the dies on their own, but I wanted the ability to stamp that. So I can make a whole row of tickets. That die will cut a nice little mini row of tickets, which is fab as a junk journaler. Absolutely marvellous. I can cut a giant ticket. That's really cool. So very happy about that. I can cut a ticket with a perforated bit. Very happy about that. And I can stamp it and do whatever to make that. And then we've got a teeny tiny ticket as well, which are fabulous. We've also got this, this flag. But dun, dun, dun. one thing that I adore is the DSP that goes with it. So let me just move that because it's got sticky on it. Let me just slit this open and let's explore how it, how it works with the dies. Now I know some of you will be aware that I recently bought a scan and cut, which I could probably cut these out with my scan and cut, although with what I'm learning about the Scan and Cut, some of them, it won't cut very well because it's likely to go around that blue bit and then around that blue bit. Whereas with the dies, I cut the whole lot out together. So that's, that's pretty cool. So I'll be cutting all of these out, every single one of them. Then I can use this one to cut those out. So I have got lots and lots of embellishments there. And I've got two sheets. Now the other sides, I like the other side and I would probably use that, but I think I'd use this more. So I've got two sheets that do that. So I'm very, very, very excited about that. And I will spend some time just doing that. Now let's look at the rest of the paper. So that's that sheet. And then there's this sheet. Yeah. Love. Love my stripes. If you've seen my little Christmas, vintage Christmas folio, you'll know how much I love the stripes. And this has got a very vintage look about it. So I am loving that. So there we've got this and they they will cut out won't they if i try and do it one hand let's get it off so these ones will cut out so i can cut those ones out um not the flags uh i'll get me scan and cut to do it to be fair this the scan and cut will go around all of these i am sure so um I will probably just run the whole sheet through that. What have I got on the other side? Let's have a little skeggy wiggy. Oh, I like that. That's nice. So I, I could be, I could do half a sheet or I could do one sheet cut out and one sheet not cut out. And then we've got these circles. I'm liking that. That's very nice. Oh, that's cool. Probably prefer that. So I'm loving these sort of muted colours giving a little, sort of a vintage look. I think they're very nice. Lots and lots of baseballs and bats. So for the masculine look, it's great. I like the sort of vintage. It's even got a little bit of um, sort of as if you've eat around the outside. So if I was making a masculine journal, that's really cool. L liking that. So if you've got sports fans, of which to be fair, I, I do. Um, so that correct me if I'm wrong is that a baseball pitch I think it is um so um I'm gonna use that side love it that perfect back of a journaling card that that way on I mean you'd have to write small but that's perfect for back of a journaling card so that is the sheets in 
this set. So I was very happy about that. Very happy indeed. Jill was like, no, Jez, it's really not me. So I can't remember. I don't think we're sharing this packet. I hope not anyway, because I quite like it all myself, Jill. Um, so, uh, but I don't think we are sharing it. So what else have we got? I bought some embellishments so that we're sharing. So what have I got here? Iridescent rhinestones. I just thought these were lovely. Um, and um, let's look sneaky peeks there. Let's do one at a time. Let's not be greedy. Um, these got 200 of them. That's oodles, isn't it? So they are in three different sizes and they're iridescent and that that looks lovely on its on itself, but you could colour them. That's another thought is you could colour them. So um yeah, very happy about that. And um Jill agreed, so they're being halved. Oh now I've opened them, I don't know what to do with them. And then what have we got here? Oh I loved these enamel pebble shapes how cool are they um so they are gray and brown they probably are basic i don't know what if they're whatever but nice shape so we've got a lighter gray a really light gray a mid gray and then i think that looks like cinnamon cider basic gray and smoky slate to be fair those are really nice i like the misshapen of them and um, I think they will be very, very useful. And then, then we've got glass, faux glass C shapes. So they're a bit smaller than these sort of faux pebbles. So these are like bits of glass and how lovely are they? I just thought they were beautiful. And you've got these. Oh, oh, oh. oh I've just pulled one of them off, trying to pull the thing out not my best move so sticking them back on the sheet but yeah they do look like broken bits of glass love them and these ones on the end here you can they're sort of frosted white so you could color them yeah think those will be smashing and then we've got here oh well I decided as for the for the uh that masculine set I just bought these stars because I just thought well then I've got the whole lot haven't I I've just pulled another star off pulling it out just a wally so yeah I just thought oh well we'll get them as well then I've got them all so I've got the whole lot because I've got the ribbon and all so quite like them. They're really nice. They're resin. So I think they'll be smashing. Smashing, smashing, smashing. Got some ribbons. Uh, there we go. So that was the one that went with that masculine set. So three lots of Baker's Twine there. I love Baker's Twine. So, um, yeah, very happy with those. I'm not going to love halving that quite so much, to be honest. Um, so then we've got a double ribbon pack. Um, we both liked, Jill and I, we go through the catalogue and we decide what we, what, what we like. We liked the shape of these, uh, the size, the shape. It's a ribbon. What are you talking about? It's, um, we liked the narrowness this is a narrow ribbon and we liked that so it's like a cotton ribbon it's really nice liking it a lot i think it's misty moonlight which i do love a bit of misty moonlight and uh, i think it would go well with my little masculine set there as well so uh yeah what's not to like about that and i think that little bit of twine will go nicely with it i think that must be knight of navy and this is misty moonlight but it will go nicely go nicely and then this i think is 
petal pink, which, do you know, oh! chucking it at myself, um, which I think is more of a peach than a pink, and I quite like it. So I'm not a pink fan, but I don't mind this subtle one. And um, yeah, that's really nice as well. Two colours go nice together. So yeah, got got that. And then the other ribbon is this. Um, it's a window window pane check ribbon. It's um, evening evergreen. Evening. And uh, I liked it. I thought it was something a little bit different. Um, again, um, could be nice and masculine. Let's get that off there. That's stuck. Oh, well, there we go. So, yeah, I just thought this would be nice. And uh, it, um, I, I reckon, add a little bit of soft suede or crumb cake to that. But look nice and vintage as well. That were my thoughts. So yeah, liking that. Liking that. Do like it when my ribbons get nice and filled up. So what other papers did I get that oh my other papers now are celebration. So I did in the little sale I bought another one of them diamond weave because they are perfect for my junk journal so i'll stick that over there got some tombow always need glue um, and then i bought these butterflies and flowers layering decorative masks now i've done a lot of a lot of projects showing different ways of using the decorative mask so i was very excited that we've got more decorative masks so there we've got some flowers as it's called butterflies and flowers, you would expect butterflies. So that's cool. I quite like the fact that that's a little bit of two-stepping going on there. So you can do the background and the forefront. Here we've got some more flowers. And I think that, again, I could probably sort of do some layering on there. That's very cool. That one under there. So you can build up your colours on it, like in that. So that's them three. And then we've got some more background ones, which if you've watched me, you'll know that I also emboss with these. So put those through your die cutting machine with a silica mat that will leave the impression on your card as well so it's like having three embossing folders there and they are really nice so that very good value there six uh three lovely embossing folders and then you've got some some a multitude of patterns that you can make up with these i'm going to get my pastels out because i've neglected them and um i'm going to get creating with those so that's that. What else did I get? Oh, I got these off the... Some is off clearance and some is off last, last chance. So I, I got myself the mini gold pizza boxes because they weren't very expensive. And I just thought Christmas is coming and um, I might need a last minute gift box or two. Or is it ten? two or eight eight i can get so quite like that so they are food safe so they're all shiny there on this side and they make up really really easily and uh, i bought the other pizza boxes as well the white ones um, I never got around to buying the gold ones, but now I have. And I've got some ideas of quick little gifts to do with these and some of our 
some of our speciality DSP that have gold in it. There we go. So look, dead quick to put together, dead shiny. So quite happy with that. Not bad for a couple of quid. I can't remember how much it was. Oh, it was a couple of quid. Um, what else have I got here? Oh, I bought these. I couldn't resist. So these are in sale as well. You get eight of these as well. And they're like stamping up packaging boxes, which as a stamping up demonstrator, I just get so excited about. And as a junk journaler, having brown packaging is very exciting. And I just thought I could make some sort of tags out of these repurpose them not use them as boxes although i probably will use some of them as boxes for storage in my craft room i loved them when we had them sort of at full price um never actually bought them and uh, and now i have that they're reduced and um, yeah, so, so so that closes like that. That's the top. Oh yeah, cooking on gas. Just remembered. I have the stamping up washi tape to close it. How cool is that? So absolutely fantastic, gifting something to a stamping up demonstrator. Put a bit of that over that. That would just make their day. So happy about that. I think to use it on my desk for something, um, I'll have to think of some other way of closing it. But yeah, so I was very happy about that. Made my heart sing a little bit. Um, what else did I get? I got some white envelopes because I'm always needing envelopes. So then we're on to Celebration. So Celebration has some DSP, some free DSP. So let me show you the DSP. So we've got three packs here, DSP, free with a £45 order coming up in January. So this one is a rainbow one um who doesn't love a bit of a rainbow we like rainbows in our family so this had to be bought so 48 sheets four of each design so one design two design Three. Oh, love that. Four. Let's have a look. See. The missed one. Yeah. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ooh, 10, 11, 12. So that is the 12 designs that we have. So lovely, lovely rainbow designs on there. Love that. Bermuda Bay, love it. This is great. And it's all been about the rainbows, hasn't it, in the last almost two years, thanking our essential workers, our NHS workers, our scarce care staff, our postmans, our delivery men, all our essential workers, people that kept the shops open, manned the petrol stations, teachers. Crafters, <laughs> all keeping us going. Love it. And then on the other side, these are sort of plainer. So beautiful, bright, cheery colours. 
So great for kids' cards, great to cheer up, loving the stripes. I'm hoping that's not on the other side of the other stripe. No, it's the other side of a spot. So, yeah, loving these. Love, love, love. Bit of hearts there, very useful. Yep, yeah, how cool are that? So that is free with a £45 order. You can like tut up and thinking, God, she spent a fortune. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. But I had it burning, burning a hole in my pockets. So, yeah, it was got. So there we go. And then this is called Simply Marvellous because it's marble. Marble effect. So this one's balmy blue. I didn't see what the colours were in the other one, but it's like virtually every colour. Uh, balmy blue, basic grey, blushing bride, bumblebee, coastal cabana, flirty flamingo, gorgeous grape, highland heather, misty moonlight, pool party, smoky slake, and so saffron. So these are marbly effects. So there we go. How oh, stunning! Looks almost like fabric, doesn't it? It's beautiful. So that's a pinky one, not a huge pink fan, as I keep mentioning. So there we go. Oh, lovely. And then, oh, this is going to be my favourite. Favourite, favourite. Oh, yes. Just to have to take a moment at, oh, look, at how beautiful that looks with my lovely nails. I love it. And then we've got all oh, this one that is also awesome. And then, oh, I do like a bit, of, a little bit of neutrals as well. <sighs> Lovely. And then we have this one. Oh, oh, love it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that right? Six different. So, so that's um um how many sheets actually i'm not i'm not even attempting the maths i think it'd be eight one two three four five six seven eight yes yeah, so eight sheets of six different designs so that is stunning the pictures in the little celebration catalog do not do this paper justice because it is a pain in the doodah to put back in these little packets. Um, yeah, they're lovely. That's like that's like bathroom tiled marble, isn't it? But this is like satin sheets, silk silk and satin it's just beautiful just love these designs stunning i love the colors that's why there's so many colors that it's just different different shades of different colors so in this one we've got misty moonlight what else will be in there balmy blue and pool party in there how lovely i'm not even going to attempt but that's all the purples the highland heather the gorgeous grape in that one really really lovely so yeah loving that paper free with a 45 point pound order coming in january or if you're a demonstrator if you join my team now you can get it now for every 45 pound order <gasps> I love that sheet. That's just beautiful. I'm about to do an Alice in Wonderland um, junk journal. These colours are perfect. So this is Daffodil Afternoon. Because, of course, it's spring-summer catalogue. So daffodils always say spring to me. Always. So let's have a little look-see at this paper. I think we're looking here at my favourite sheet. 
love it so i'm likely to hoard this until the end of february and then i'll use it love that as well love that as well good job they have two sheets so then what have we got next oh yes a classic stamping up style sheet that very quick six cards six cards and a bit extra love it nice little stripey on the other side do like that as well good job i have two sheets and then that's that sheet again jess then we have pulling it out here oh that's nice that's nice oh hearts hearts i need hearts because there'll be valentine themed blog hops and things and i don't have heart i don't have a heart stamp set or a heart die set so that makes me have to think out the box look at all those daffodils how gorgeous lovely little dots on the back liking it I like a bit of plain dsp as well it goes really nice with really helpful putting backgrounds on projects that's cool a little bit of daff there nice easter cards that's what it says to me love it love it love it and what i love is it's very vanilla it's not white it's very vanilla which makes a nice change and goes really well with like vintage stuff so liking that that's very nice very nice indeed nice bright in your face yellow and then no oh, that's the same sheet jess is that them all then is that six one two three four five six yep so that's six and yeah that's my favorite without a shadow of a doubt that is my favorite so i have so that's free with a 45 pound order i have another celebration that's free with a 90 pound order but before i show you that i did get a couple of other things of clearance which i think is worth a look either clearance or last chance this is the gold shimmer vellum and i have been using the in color shimmer vellums quite a lot so i thought well let's get the gold shimmer one you get two sheets and um yeah you've got a bit of shimmer in that so that's the plain side and that's a shimmery side so i've got a few little christmas things still left to do so i thought they would be stunning and not very much on clearance don't ask me how much just click on the link below that will be there and it will take you to my shop and you'll be able to see and then i bought this this is the natural touch speciality paper which is like a bit of wood and Oh, I hope there's two sheets there because that's what it said on the packet. Yeah, so we've got two sheets here. And it is like, I'll chop that. That is like a bit of wood. So we've got a plain a bit. I think it's supposed to be one sided. So it's supposed to use it that side. I thought that was quite nice to. Um, I thought they'd look good in my journals. Nice on a masculine card, maybe. And. Um, yeah, quite happy about that. Worth a little pump for a couple of quid. I did buy some window sheets as well. Um, but you don't need to see those. And then this, I'm very excited about. So this is, um, you get both the stamp set and the DSP for a um, £90 um, order. So this is a photopolymer stamp set. So... Now with photopolymers, you've got it printed on there so you can stick them on when you use them. So I do love a photopolymer stamp because you can see through it. So we've got lovely flowers, nice little bird there. Hello, friend. Hope you have the best birthday. You have my love and support. That's so nice, isn't it, at the moment? Um, and then just some, I just worked two-step stamping there to colour the flowers. Um, no? 
don't quite match that two step there but hey ho um i just think they'll make i'm just excited excited to have a go at this and see what i come up with and then there is some dsp now people were saying this dsp is gorgeous and i'm like cheers i had to literally leave my box without opening it and go away i've had a fantastic like my thursday friday saturday sunday monday back here on tuesday so I had a nice five days away um i'm absolutely shattered and all i've done so far today basically is catch up on i'm a celeb i had to avoid all announcements on social media to make sure that my fun wasn't spoiled by finding out who won so look at that let's have a look at the colors in that so that is all the stuff that's in the stamp set so we have basic black fresh freesia granny apple green petal pink pool party and shaded spruce so that's lovely wonder me scan and cut we'll cut them out Mm -hmm. right. not sure that I'd want to oh that's pretty that's very pretty reminds me of some nice fabric oh those two that's nice that's almost like like this sheet but with black outlines almost yeah liking that on this side yeah that's okay granny apple green's not my favorite but you know Oh, that's cool. Bit of fresh freesia there. Liking that. So that gives me an idea. Yeah, that's not my favourite thing. But I could stamp over that with the stamp set and create that similar pattern there. Couldn't I? Yes, you could, Jess. That's a jolly good idea. And then on that side we have that. And then what have we got here? Yep, yeah, that's pretty. And then on that side, a bit of dotage. I do like dots. I like dots a lot. And then we have some more granny apple green. Very nice. And then, oh, a lovely stripe. I like a stripe. And then I love the way they've done the, the just the outline stamping on on the white background that's really nice oh that's means you like it that is my six sheets so yeah so that requires a 90 pound order but it won't be hard to spend 90 pounds and then you get this for free just gorgeous 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 i love it so that is everything i've got everything i've got and plus i've got the two sets that i got before that you've already seen um but because i tended on stage so i got that set and i got another set with leaves which i'm desperately looking on my shelves for can't find it have used it must be here somewhere but no I've put it somewhere I can't find it and I got oh we got that ribbon as well this white ribbon that's quite cool and nice and those beautiful stunning amazing butterflies and um ah oh, there it is knocking everything here because it's such a mess my my space at the moment and then there was that set as well. So these was what we got free from tending on stage. Oh, and I bought these, didn't I? Don't know that I showed you these. I got these. These are the other things I got. I'm thinking that that's everything. So we got some more doilies. I just love a doily. So they're sort of white on one side, so you can colour them whatever you want. And then you've got cinnamon cider basic gray 
um, Mr. Moonlight. So, yeah, that is, that is all my new catalogue stuff. So all I've got to do now is have one big massive tidy up and um, start playing. So excited. I'm really excited. Well, I've got a half all the things I've got to so chill actually first. And then, um, yeah, get on playing. Okay, so I've had my delivery from Jill, so I thought I'd just add this on the end. So this is, she always packages it so nice. I try and do it, but I'm not as neat. Um, this is the Real Red Faux Linen Thread. So it's very nice. I mean, we've got um, other Real Red ribbon available at the moment, but this is different. So we've got like an organza one and we've got a satin one but i love a bit of linen so let's just try it in a boat suddenly went on a go slow there don't quite know why there we go yeah that's pretty I like that. That'd be nice. Lovely for Christmas. And I know that it's going live after Christmas. So I shall be putting that on a on an empty reel. That's what I do with our shares. I never throw away the reels. So this paper here is Sweet Talk. So we have a whole um a whole suite, different sort of sweet. This is as in sweeties, but a whole suite um, centred around um, love hearts. Um, so we've got um, lots and lots of like love heart sweets in the background. Um, and these, I believe that in the US, um, they sell, I think they're called Conversation candy or something i don't know something like that because they've got words on them and these may be the boxes that they come in we have love hearts in the uk so yeah so lots and lots of hearts so good for for valentine's um obviously double-sided that's quite pretty lots and lots of colors in this oh i love that love it probably more likely to use that side me yeah, very nice. Oh, another stripe. Yeah, that's my side. That's what I like. So, very nice for kiddies things with all the sweets. That's very pretty if you're into pink. And I'm not. Some lollipops there. And some nice dots. I say it is called Sweet Talk. And here we have, so I think these are like the sweets um these are a little bit like ours so our sweets are round and they have a heart um shape on them with with words uh, you know messages inside so that's quite good now i like the color i'm not sure i suppose i could make ed's valentine card using that possibly there's it's i love you in lots of languages French, German, and other other languages. <laughs> Not going to attempt. Um, and obviously they've got love in English there. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can cut these out. I think they might be nice if I can cut them out. My scan and cut will probably cut them out. So yeah, so that's nice. I will make use of that packet of paper. Um, next packet coming up is this one. So this is the Artfully Composed. So I got the stamp set and die set that, that goes with this. Um, I'm going to check if the die will cut that out. So... Oh, I like that. It's a bit script on there. I like that. That's quite busy. That's another one that's quite busy. I think maybe we isolate it into smaller strips. It's actually not too bad. It's quite busy. But I love the other side. 
another busy busy sheet there and the other side's a bit plainer I'm liking that that's lovely I think you take that as a bit of a topper take each one of those separately that's quite nice I do like a little bit stripy and I like the fact that it's got worn bits and then there's that nice little bit of script behind I could see me utilizing that loving that yep I'm loving the colors bit of dots now what I wanted to do is see if the guys will cut these out so let's check I think by Jove I think they might yeah so that would cut that out and that out and and that cuts that out that's cool so that's a nice little addition uh, will any of the others cut out don't think so. No, not on that sheet. It was... It was that one I wondered. I think it's too... I think that's a lot smaller, isn't it? Yeah. So it's just that sheet that they cut out of. But that's quite handy to have. That does appeal to me. Now I've taken these out. I've no idea how to get them back. Oh, I think that one might go there. So we've got... We've got script in the that stamp set, so you can see how they coordinate nicely. So, yep, quite happy with that. So, what else have we got? This is the Mother of Pearl 12 by 12. I think you get two sheets of this. The, um, oh, going back to the sweet shop one. Um, oh, it's there. Oh, and I'm going to get sticky on it, Jez, if you're not careful. All right, a little tip. Fold that down so that the sticky cannot get on your paper as you pull it out. So I think you get two sheets. So yeah, we've got one each. So it's quite shiny. I can't remember what sweet this comes from, but we thought we'd give it a little go. Plain white on the other side. So I think that might be quite nice. I think die cut would be lovely. So that's that. Put that back in there. Afterwards, Jess, afterwards. Um, and then I've got, this is the flower, flowering fields. So that's very bright. I could use a little bit of the purple there. Very bright indeed. Other side, oh, that's nice. I do like that. Love that. So pretty. Oh, but I love that. Probably more. Very definitely more than that. Oh, nice. Tulips from Amsterdam. Yep, that's very pretty. Can't remember the colours in this. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Oh, that's interesting. Nice scrapbook page there. That would work. Um, some more of those. They kind of go with that shape. Jill loved this. She likes her brights. I like that. So I'm sure she, I like the B side. She'll like the A sides. Oh, and another another cloud. Yeah. 
So they're, they're nice papers. I'm sure I'll come up with something to use with them. And then this is my last one. Oh, this is in that, um, that suite with the, I can't remember what it's called. Um, I've got the um, paper. So this is, it's layering design vellum. So, oh, got quite a lot here. Uh, pull out the vellum. Gosh. So, probably easy if I do it with the white behind. So, I'm loving it. Love, love, love. So, nice lot of script there. So, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. So, there must be two sheets of each. Oh, that's nice. That's like a, like a map very useful see me using these in my journals that's like white script like a dictionary page oh that's like that's like the um that's like that but in white And so that's the dictionary page in white. And I've got two of them. I think Jill might have made a boob. Probably should have had them. They do look similar. And she has been a bit poorly. So I'll forgive her. I'll forgive her. We can just do a little swapsie at some point. Yeah, liking that. That's that's it. That's That's the last little bit. So I hope you liked that little look. And I hope um, that's got you excited for the new catalogue. I have a catalogue request form over on my blog. So um, if you wish to have a catalogue, then you can uh, request one there. And um, I'll be happy to send you one. And um, I've got them. They arrived as well. So they're all ready to get addressed and sent out. So I'll be sending them out probably after Christmas so that I don't clog up the already manic Christmas post and um, less chance of maybe getting lost um, and so they'll arrive after Christmas so it's something to look forward to and then at the beginning of January, January the 4th I think you can start ordering. Okay so see you all again soon. Bye!